You don't have your badge. No, I don't have my badge. All right, so just for proof, we're at Drupal Dev Days in Seged, Hungary, 2014. Yeah, yeah right? Yes. Yeah. Deal? Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. I'm with Bram Hoffings. How are you doing? Great. How's your event been so far? Um, great. I'm pretty tired at the moment. Uh -huh. It's the fifth day, I think. Lots of patches? Lots of patches. We are working on Search API. Ah. So we're porting it to Drupal 8 and there's like more than 10 people working on it at the same time. So it's really crazy. Nice. And, and lots of stuff is happening. Lots of patches uh, are pushed in and yeah. All right. Sleep is for next week. S sleep, yeah, probably. <laughs> So, you work for NASCOM, what do you do at work? I'm a Drupal developer, full-time Drupal developer and uh, make websites and help clients. And part of my time uh, is uh, working on Contrib. So, like two or three days a month, I work on Display Suite, our Contrib in general. That's great. That's what great. is your first Drupal memory? My first Drupal memory? Real memory, I don't have, but I I started Drupal when I had a website for my uh, uh, little uh, youth movement stuff in Belgium and uh, I got it from someone else and I just started meditating it, clicking around and then suddenly I had, a, I, I, had, I had a bug after like two years or something like that and I reported it. That's the day uh, my Drupal.org account started. So that's my first experience with Drupal.org and then I just left us alone for like more two more years, uh -huh. four more years, and suddenly I was bored at university and I started clicking around and, and started uh, looking at RSC and did some small patches, documentation patches, and it grows and grows and grows. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly it was uh, commented with the full calendar module with 10 blankets. Uh -huh. He started convincing me that I should do more, and uh, that's, that's the start from my two pro. So, what was what version of Drupal was that when you got started? Um, the website was Drupal five, but code-wise, it was Drupal seven. Uh -huh, so when you got active. Yeah, when I got active, so I just missed Drupal six. Uh -huh. it's no great loss at this point. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about being part of the Drupal community? It just—that's a difficult question. It just the 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 package. Like lots of people, uh, lots of people having fun. Uh, everyone is working for the same goal uh, without thinking about, oh, uh, I'm not earning money uh, by uh, making some patches after my work hours. So everyone is in the same spirit, the same vibe. That's, that's the thing I like the most about the Drupal community. As a Drupal developer, what are you most excited about in Drupal 8? It's, 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 the, it's the package. It's like um, today I, made the presenta I presented the, the plugin system. Um, I think it's a very cool system. It's, um, but there is also CMI, there is the, the new entity field stuff, there is like a bunch of other things and it's like the, the, the package that make it that makes it very very cool. It's not just one subsystem, it's all the subsystems that are working together. Plugin system works better because the entity field system is better and, and CMI makes everything better again and so it's the entire package is a great surplus for Drupal 8. Okay, so why should other developers, why should young developers be looking at Drupal again now? Um, if the, those former developers that were scared about Drupal or they didn't like Drupal, they should look at Drupal again because it's transformed. It's more like an uh, object-oriented framework now. It's based on Symfony, so if you have experience with Symfony, you can easily uh, adopt uh, Drupal now. Uh, there's more clean separation between the codes, so it's 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 for developer it's much easier to to create your own system and swap out uh, 
stuff from Core and plug in your own stuff on Drupal 7 and before it was kind of tricky to do that and some people ran away because they couldn't change what they wanted to change without being scared when they updated Drupal and stuff like that. Sure. So, yeah. Okay. So, fresh, new, exciting, interesting, yeah. relevant, modern. Awesome. Awesome. You maintain display suites. Yes. Which is not a simple module. It's a relatively extensive, complex set of functionality. Yeah. Now, it is March 2014. Mm -hmm. How long has the Drupal 8 version of Dis Display Suite already been available? Officially since, I think, uh, September 2013, but we started porting in 2012, I think. Uh -huh. So we're already busy when Drupal 8 just started. So each new thing in Drupal 8, we, already, uh, we, d we directly implemented it in, uh, in Display Suite. Uh -huh, so every API that was swapped out, every, every system change? Every change we automatically uh, put into uh, this proceed. Okay, now at this point it's really a great time for module maintainers to start upgrading their modules to Drupal 8 if they haven't so far, yes. right? And so people might be worried that it's much, much harder than it would have to be. It's a lot more work than it's happening. How has it been keeping Display Suite working with Drupal 8? It's going okay now. It's been a very tough road because yeah, some APIs changed like four, five, six times until now. But it's also a learning experience because you see what the original API was, you see what, uh, what was wrong about the original API, then you uh, can make it better with some changes and then you can give feedback like this is not okay yet, maybe you should, uh, should do this. And then Core can adapt because Drupal 8 is not yet finished. So we can still make some small changes. That's, uh, that isn't possible anymore when beta is done. So if you start porting after beta and you find some really annoying stuff, you can't really change anymore. Then you're stuck with it. Yeah, you're stuck with it for like the entire release. So if you update now, it's a great learning experience, yes. right? And people who do it now don't have to go through the major API changes that you went through. No. Nope. Because that's pretty much set at this point. So you'll, you'll get a head start on understanding how Drupal 8 works. Mm -hmm. You'll have your modules ready for the beta release and you have a chance to improve core still and fix it and make it really... Yes, but you have to be fast because beta is almost done. Bram Hoffings, yes. what is the ultimate answer? <laughs> to life, the universe, and everything. Upgrade your modules now. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right. Hey, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. It's yeah. been really, really cool. <laughs> thank you. Call to action, module maintainers, upgrade now. Yes, of course. It's not that scary. Just do it now. Upgrade today. <laughs> Yesterday, this evening. <laughs> <laughs>